Shalom, I'm walking for us all praise and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash, Double Ampas Millstone, Insight Intellect. Want to get a lesson on real quick, base off, bro. That regardless that if you are in the truth or not, man, because at the end of the day, hey, the, these prophecies will happen regardless, bro. Regardless if, hey, Lord takes you out of the truth, Lord takes you, it allows you to be in the truth, bro. <laughs> it's not the end, it's up to the most high's will. That's the style of scary thing about it, bro. Honestly, man. Is, hey, these prophecies, this word will come to fruition. It will come to pass regardless, man. Regardless if you don't believe in it, regardless if they, you know what, this is all this and that, right? It's like a bug out. And that's a scary theme, bro. Honestly. So we get this Isaiah 55, verse 11 reads, So shall my word be that go forth I'm out my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish which I pleases, and it shall prosper in, in the thing where I sent it to. So, hey, the most high word, hey, it's not going to turn to him void. If the most high said that the hey, destruction of America is going to happen, it's going to happen, man. Regardless of what got happened here, bro. Regardless if you, like, got this, then you're like, man, I'm like, well, I want destruction of the world coming yet. I got to finish up. I got to get my career plan ready. Then I can, then it could happen. Or, like, let me, fin let me do this real quick. Then it could happen, bro. No, man. The Lord doesn't want it like that, bro. Most I said, hey, it should happen on this day, which we don't know the day, man. We don't know. It's going to happen, bro. <laughs> so, regardless what, whether you're in the truth or you're out, why you fell out, why you think this is all nonsense, hey, these prophecies will happen to quit. Um, Russian. Let me just real quick. <laughs> this is Romans three verse three, and it reads, "For what if some? And what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect?" And I said, "That's a lot of the world, bro. A lot of the world is not going to believe in the truth, man. A lot of the world are going to believe that." The Christianity is right, or the world that has no God, the world's gonna keep going off forever and ever for at least at least the next hundred years, man. <laughs> that the prophecies they were saying, the trucks in America, the chip, all that, that's all nonsense, and it's all this baloney. It says, it says Sheldon, their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect. It says, Yahweh forbid, yea, let, let Yahweh be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, thou let me justify in thy sayings, and might as overcome without a judge. So the most I forbids, man. So this word's gonna happen, bro. This this word, the prophecies, man, it's gonna happen. And that's a scary thing, bro. Because regardless, regardless if you think like, oh yo, like oh this ain't nothing, bro. Oh this ain't it. That it's gonna happen, man. The Lord could take you out of the word, and you knowing that the prophecy will happen, it actually puts in fear in you. Realize that regardless of what, the Lord doesn't need me at the end of it. So, alright, this man done this part, you know, we'll get this put in someone else, and put this man back back into the world. Oh, that's some scary shit, bro. Oh, that's some really scary shit. Make you go off, and like, you're like, fuck, man, like, well. And believe in your own delusions. You've seen men like that before. That either they go back straight into the world, or they have some false ideology. What the world is of this? Sorry. Oh, what the place it really is, bro. And like, people, honestly, man, people that bugged out is truth. Honestly, that's some scary shit, bro. It is truly some of the most scary shit ever, man. Because they honestly do believe in what they're saying. Let me get this real quick. Guys, right, Isaiah 46 and verse 10. And reads declaring the end from the beginning. And the ancient ancient times, the things that are not done yet. Saying, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. Say, so, the Lord's counsel shall stand. So regardless, bro, hey, that's, that's the most, the best thing about being a true, bro. The best thing, the best thing and the worst thing. Is that hey? Either you die right now, or you 
either you die right now, or you fell off, or this other, or the Lord has to be. You know how you know how that certainty <laughs> that this is gonna happen, bro. That the chip's gonna come. That ship is gonna come, bro. Nuclear missiles gonna come over here. Most of them, you know, gonna crack the cloud with the UFOs. Hey, that's some cool shit, honestly. You're like, damn, but you know what? Regardless of what, hey, you know the end game. And honestly, not a lot of people can say that that they know the end game, that they know what's basically gonna happen. Now we don't know what time exactly, but wait, we have a pretty good idea. Like, hey, this world is gonna fuck. It's gonna fucking fall apart. So regardless of what, bro, hey, stay in the truth, man. Stay in the truth. I mean, honestly, it's very too honestly. Break honest, but it's kind of too late to turn back, man. But yeah. Honestly, it is kind of too late to turn back, bro. Just stay in this, bro, for yourself, man. Because, hey, all, all said and done, it's already happened, bro. Everything's already done already. Now all you have to do is just play a part. That's some scary shit, bro. Honestly. All you have to do is play a part. There's honestly at the end of the day, there is no free will. Don't say that there is honestly, there is no free will. Let me get that real quick. Come on, this is James 4 and verse. I'm going to start at verse 13. It reads, Go to now, ye that say today, but tomorrow we shall go into such a city, and continue there a year, and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. Because we don't know what's. I say, bro, honestly, I could die in a car accident today. I could be on my way and, like, you know, Lord takes me out like that. I could get, I can end up in a hospital. Or I can ever reach my destination. You know, some other stuff happened. I could get arrested, bro. Jesus answers the words, you know not what should be, you know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that pure for a little time then vanish away. But there are time, bro, on this earth, it just in and out, basically just I think last like average like 70 years. Up to about 70 years. Oh, that's not a lot of time, bro. That's not, that's not a lot of time to be doing a lot of doing things, bro. And said, that's what he truly said. Life is short. To be honest, life is short, bro. What it says in verse 15? And it reads, For we ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. So if the Lord will, the amen, most heavily saying the truth, most high willing, you're making a camp, bro. Most high willing. We ought to do the Lord's will, bro. Not to our own will. So you never know what's. You don't, you honestly, you don't know what's being the next minute, man. The hill that got like, shot me, like, if I can get that real quick. Get something real quick. In fact, oh, beautifully, I always looked this up. It says, um, it says, former Walmart employee who was, far, who was fired last year targets a Pacific people and shooting police say. It reads, at least one person was wounded at a shooting uh, in Sinville, Indiana. And it's happened yesterday, man. On a, on a Thursday night, the suspected gunman later shot and killed the by, by responding. <laughs> Law firm officer, according to the so, you know, I probably didn't know that, hey, I'm going to go to that Walmart that day that made me shot up, bro. You know, you're expecting to get your groceries, right? You're expecting, like, oh, I'm going to come here, get my groceries, and come back home. You're expecting, like, a shooting that's going to happen, bro. Honestly, it's a, it's a Lord of the Lord, bro. Unless the Lord can take you out at any moment, man. <laughs> your true desire is for it, bro. The Lord can take you out at any single moment he wants to. <laughs> Not just one, bro. But here they always say, shootings in here, shootings in there. No plans like, all right, today and be shot. You know, later, man. No. 
Say, hey, be careful, bro. The best thing to do is, hey, pray to the most high. <laughs> most high willing keeps you in that faith, man. Because if you do die, right, hey, you finish your course. Let me get that real quick. Found in 2 Timothy 4 and verse 7 reads, I have that. I'm going to start at verse 6 and it's for I am, for I am not ready to be offered, and at the time my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, and I finished my course. I have kept my faith. So that's, that's basically what you want to hear, what you want to see, man. At the end of the day, like, hey, if you, if you die in this team, bro, then you know I kept my faith, man. I think my corpse kept my faith until the very end. Because all we know, man, all for all we know, that hey, the end is tomorrow. You could die tomorrow. For all I know, I could die the next hour. So, hey, just keep pushing, keep fighting, man. Because you never know when your time to departure out. You never know when the Lord says, "All right, that's enough. You know, time to go. Time to go back to spirit. Now it's time to go back to spirit world." You know, there's no plans for the no plans for the death, man. Most time. No plans to die at this specific moment. This time, by that man, that specific way, man. Best thing to do, bro, just say, keep the fight, keep fighting, man. With that, of all praise and glory, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Kordash, and Sakim Shalom.